Jackson Cook. Um, I ride motorbikes, I write rock and roll music, and I live life to the extreme. I come from a humble background, but I have very big dreams and aspirations, and not only music. I love to have fun, and I find the craziest ways to have fun. There's so many things I want to accomplish. Um, first and foremost, I want to become the best at what I do. I really look at music, songwriting, singing, playing instruments as a craft. And I try to look at myself as, as a craftsman that's, um, that's creating something. And, um, and I put my own spin towards it. Um, I've never wanted to be a pop songwriter, but I've always been wanting to write songs that were popular, if that makes any sense. Um, my aspirations as a musician and in the music business is to become all that I can be. <laughs> um, what makes me different? I think that's something that I battle with all the time because you're always trying to find your individuality. Um, because music has been around a long time now and you know we only have a certain amount of chords and notes. I think what makes you different as a musician from others is what you have to say in your music and the way you go about saying it. Um, I try to talk about things I experience in my life, you know, personal experiences or things that I see of others. I try to touch on points that affect people in a global way. And, you know, I try to write about things that have meaning and have impact. Um, that's a really tough question. I would say to date, my most meaningful song would have to be Street Soldier. Um, this song first originated when I was, it was quite young and I visited Vancouver, uh, British Columbia in Canada and there's a place called East Hastings Street and this is the epitome of Skid Row, the slums, um, drugs, alcohol and sexual abuse. Um, you know, it really is at the bottom when it comes to poverty. You know, when I first saw this, I was taken back in many ways. I was scared. Um, for my own well-being going through there. Um, I was scared for society. Not only were people in general living in this world, but children my age were living in that world. And I felt inspired in some way to write a song and, and find my own way of speaking about this issue of poverty and how I think we all can have an impact to create it or to stop it. Yeah, absolutely. I am a artist that pays attention to what's going around in my media world and what's going on in the world in general and um, I think as an artist on all different levels of popularity I think we all have an impact on how you can reach people and I think it's a very powerful tool we have music so I think if we use it in the right way we can bring up issues and topics and and say things where the average person can't I think it's very important for all our artists to pay attention to what's going on in the world. Um, of my generation, some artists that really inspire me, I would have to say Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I've actually had the pleasure of spending some time with them, working with them, which was really cool. But I think the biggest reason why they inspire me is they really broke the code and, and proved to the system how powerful independent artists can be in the music business today. I think um, they just really show to all other artists that there is no excuse to be lazy and to rely on the business to make your art. You still can be very successful at it. You know, it goes to the old saying, talent cannot be denied. So if you do what you do, you will find a fan base. Um, another couple artists that really inspire me would have to be uh, Bruno Mars. Um, I think Bruno Mars is extremely underrated for how good he is. He really took pop music and the whole formula to writing pop music but put a twist on it that we really haven't seen before. And I think there's this one band out there that are really keeping rock and roll alive and that would have to be the Rival Sons. These guys are really the epitome of what classic rock and roll is about. I'd like to say everybody's my fan but that's not the truth. I like to say the popular kids are my fans but that's not the truth either. My fans are all the people that hide within the shadows. I think it's the people that walk their own way. I think it's uh, people that are confident in themselves even when they have the world against them. I think in many ways my fans are very similar to who I am. We live our life whether people recognize it and respect it or not. I think um, my fans are rebels. From there my fan base grows. 
I mean, I don't even know how you start with the question. I mean, fans are everything, and that's why I think at the end of the day, it's about the team and your fans. That's that's the most important, and I guess that's why I would say I love my fans to death.